father was a great musician and uh, we were always so tremendously um, inspired by his singing and his vina play. I first learned Indian music, the ragas and the talas and we Taught, uh, our father taught us to sing the different ragas and to beat the different talas and uh, even my elder sisters uh, were taught uh, to dance, Indian dancing. One of the remembrances that I have is when I went to a concert in Paris my uncle took me to uh, the first concert that I ever heard of Western music because I never knew as a child that Indian that Western music existed. I only knew about Eastern music because my father taught us uh, Indian music and sang very often to us. And uh, there I had the privilege of um, hearing Misha Elman playing the violin concerto Beethoven uh, with the orchestra of Amsterdam and I was so tremendously impressed that I ran home and begging my mother to have a violin. I want the violin, I want the violin. And finally uh, I got that violin and studied like anything until I thought I could play as good as Michelle Mum. At a quite young age, I had the privilege of being at the uh, Ecole Normale de Musique. It was one of the most uh, prestigious uh, music schools in Paris, founded by Thibault, Cocteau and Casals. And we had uh, great teachers uh, like Thibault, for instance, for the violin, and uh, Nadia Boulanger uh, for composition, and Enesco for chamber music. At a certain stage in my life, I was a violinist in an orchestra, first of all in, in, in Utrecht in Holland and then in Harlem. And then, of course, I acquired a lot of, uh, how would I say, now, uh, technique as far as um, knowing how the different instruments function, what they can do and what they cannot do, and how they, how they can be combined and so on. Uh, playing in the orchestra is really the only way that one can really um, learn uh, to put a score together. I have a duty. I felt it as a duty to combine Western classical harmony with, together with Indian ragas. And uh, so one of the most uh, typical uh, composition is my Gandhi symphony, which I composed in, in memory of Gandhi because in, I was always a great admirator of, uh, uh, admirer of Gandhi. And uh, that composition has been played uh, at the uh, UNESCO Radio in New York in homage to Gandhi, uh, which was a great privilege for me. And that composition, in that composition, I really tried to prove that one can insert ragas into Western uh, harmonic structures. My father um, founded the, what he called the International Sufi Movement. This is a movement of um, 
which is based on the great ideals of unity of spiritual ideals. Uh, but unity of spiritual ideals to be understood as um, love and understanding and tolerance to the belief of each person uh, and to try to be a living example of those great ideals of love, harmony and beauty. Spirituality cannot belong to any religion. There is no such a thing as Hindu spirituality or Muslim spirituality or Christian spirituality or Jewish spirituality or your spirituality or my spirituality. Spirituality is spirituality, it does not belong to anybody and cannot be imposed and cannot be bought, cannot be taught, it can only be discovered. Music is uh, one of those uh, one of those outlets of the heart, if one can put it like that, where the heart can express itself without really um, uh, being limited by by words or by thoughts, where the feeling flies forth beyond thoughts and beyond uh, any anything that can be defined. Of course there are other arts naturally but uh, well I like to say that the, the music is the most subtle art of all arts. <laughs>